Okay, so last video we spawned on a timer. Let's say we want to spawn on a button press, which is a maybe more common way of spawning things. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen and let's do that real quickly. We are back in Unity using the project that we started uh, last video. I'm gonna open up my spawner script and this is gonna be a really quick one, right? We can keep, uh, we can keep ticking down the time if we like. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new function. Each one of these is a function. Void start is a function. Update is a function. And I'm going to create a function called uh, void spawn. Spawn it. Right? And functions open and close parentheses. This is where you can put parameters if you'd like to. And then it goes, if we call the function, it'll go through every single line in its uh in its section. So spawn it is going to do this instantiate object spawn transform dot position right here. Okay, so I just cut that line and I pasted it down there. And the reason why I wanted to do that there is because I only want to write this once. Uh, this functionality only has to happen once. We can keep our timer in that's okay. But in addition to the timer, uh, let's also spawn on button press. So we're going to say if input dot get button down, um, then we have to give it a string. String is the button name. I'm going to give it the name jump. Uh, we close both parentheses. We open the curly braces and we say if input dot get button down, which fires once when the button is pressed down, not when it's held down, not when it's up, but only when it goes down. Uh, then we're going to spawn it. We're going to call the function that we just made. And in order to keep it spawning on the timer, I'm just going to copy this and put it there, spawn it. Okay, it makes it a, a little neater. We can see what's happening. And it helps with troubleshooting as well. So now I'm going to go back to our um, project. And I want to take a look at this. Where did we get this? From. You know, like a lot of games have jumps, but why did we just automatically say, all right, if you hit the jump button, uh, spawn it. What is the jump button? Okay, so let's click on our project, move my head here, and we'll go over to project settings. Okay, and if you can't find project settings, it's somewhere in the window list. Uh, they changed it recently, so it's a little tough for me to find. Um, project settings going to be in photos in general, but project is down here. Uh, one way to find it is go to build settings and then click player settings and player settings is going to open up your player settings. Uh, but then you can go up to input. And that's what we care about. So we said input dot get button down, and then we gave it a string. Um, that's because each Unity project comes prepackaged with 18 different axes. Uh, and it may change by the time you watch this video. One of them is jump. And if we cl click it, uh, jump to uncollapse it, we see that the positive button that will activate this jump is space, okay, for space bar. And then we have another jump. And that's joystick button. I can't see that, so let's drag it out. Joystick button three. Okay, so zero, one, two, three. On a PlayStation controller, that's triangle. On an Xbox controller, that is the A button. And yes, if you have the ability to, uh, you can plug in a controller and it generally pretty much works, uh, especially for this uh, basic stuff. So again, input, it's in project settings, input, and we can see all of the strings that we have already. Uh, we can also add more, but we don't have to do that today. So now if I press play, it's going to keep spawning on that timer that we set. Uh, you know, we scroll down every five seconds, it's popping out a coin. But now if I press space bar, it's popping out a coin every time I press space bar. Okay, and an important thing here to note is that you need to be in the game view window, 
Okay, so if I click the scene view and I press spacebar, nothing's gonna happen. If I click the game window and press spacebar, then I can start shooting coins or really just spawning coins in the same spot, uh, which is making them collide. Okay, uh, next class, we're gonna go over adding force and other sorts of physics things. So thanks for stopping by. I know it was a short one, but I wanted to make sure you understand um, how to use input.get button down.